Okay folks, so I just picked up some water from um, a burn just here. Um, I filtered, it took a while because I had to filter a couple of bottles because I don't think there's going to be any water on the way and it's uh, very hot and I've dubbed this bit because um, it was windy again and uh, the wind was affecting the mic. I'm just heading off uh, to the end of this stage and then the next stage in a little bit is going to be uh, stage uh, 10 all the way to Melrose. And now I remember this place, it's got the boffy. If I'd kept walking, I could have got to the boffy. Ah, what an idiot. It's obviously not an MBNA boffy because it wasn't on my GPS. Should have looked on the guidebook, but yeah, I've been here before when I walked end to end trail, John O'Groats along Land's End. I remember that cross. It was slightly different the end to end trail though, because I come up from down that road, from up there. Then I went back onto the Southern Upland Way gang up there. So it doesn't follow all of the uh, Southern Upland Way parts of it. Yeah, up there. I think this is a memorial cross. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, there's nothing here. So we got a cross here. Ah, I should have kept going. Anyway, that's uh, end of stage. I don't know what stage, but it's end of stage and start of another stage. I'll put it on the uh, screen. Some kind of pole over there. Up something up the way, next stage over here. Let's have a look. The camps here. Even. Yeah, so this is start of next stage, official start of next stage. That's the village hall and um, somewhere kind of pagan phallic symbol. Okay folks, okay folks, well, I've got some sad news. Um, the boffy I, I stayed in when I went up this way on the end to end trail, John O'Groats to Land's End when I did this bit. Um, it's no longer, and it was pretty bad condition then. It would have been vandalised, people put obscene graffiti in there. It's really sad, really. It had been trashed, part, it, loads of parties there by the looks of it, and people with no respect at all. And um, it says here, due to poor structural conditions, the boffy on much more to the east of the trail has now been demolished and removed from site in the interest of safety and is no longer available for overnight accommodation or apologising. It's really sad. Uh, let's put it there as well. So I'm guessing that's on about um, the one I stayed at and there's some information there if you want to pause it and read it. And that's just usual stuff about Southern Upland Way. Uh, stuff we've seen before, you can pause it and read it if you want. So folks, behind me you will see the uh, start of this stage and there's an optional town you can walk to for free supply over there. But to be honest, I don't need to because I'm going all the way to Melrose and that has got a co-op and a campsite and even if I don't make it, I've got enough food to survive I have enough water to survive if it's dry up here, so yeah, I'm fine. So I'm sort of nearing where the boffy was. I'll be there soon. So it'd be quite sad to see it not there anymore. After staying in it on such an epic journey across Britain. Back in 2014. Unfortunately, even in this beautiful place, the vandal's been at work, there's graffiti everywhere. Uh, this wall has been totally graffitied. All this horrible graffiti, it's ruining the, the atmosphere of the place. Then some idiots graffitied the wall over here as well. Terrible. Some more graffiti. 
Yeah, this graffiti was here last time um, I was here. Oh, oh, looks like there's some more graffiti here. God, someone's been hard at work with their graffiti here. That's probably why they removed the hut. Terrible. Got a feeling the hut was here. I'll show you in a second. Oh, look at all this graffiti. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. I think the hut could have been in here. I'll have a look in a second. Well, folks, I think I'm pretty sure just here is where the hut was, unless it's further up. But this looks like where it was, but the ground is a bit uneven. Maybe it's not here. Maybe it's a bit further up, but it does look like the place where the hut was. I could be wrong. That's really sad. Well, if it has definitely gone, and I can't find it further up, I'll put um, a picture up of the, what the hut looked like when I did John O'Groats to Land's End and I stopped in it. I'll put a picture up for you. So folks, looks like uh, it's like the boffy has definitely gone. <sighs> it's a poor condition. Yeah, poor condition to bloody bloody vandals. It's not that far from a town, so you know that's probably why. Well, surprise, surprise! It's another hot day, and it's up, 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 up. Shame about the boffy. I'm so pissed off about that. Really, I'm not pissed off, but. Glad I got to stay in it before it was uh, removed. Okay folks, well the last time I was here I was walking John O'Groats to Land's End. Um, this is a ancient well on the Southern Upland Way. Uh, people leave offerings such as coins, uh, stones here. The last time I was here in 2014 um, it, there was loads of coins left. There's, I think there's a couple of coins there left this time. It looks like someone's left a bit of bread. Uh, basically, that is the new stone in, built in uh, put there in 1965, and then next to it you've got the um, the original stone there, and here along here is the actual um, well. This is the actual spring. It, yeah, it's not really a well; it's a, a spring, natural spring water, um, which has been used for many hundreds of years. Okay folks, we'll just come to a road crossing here and there's some information on the sign. Looks like there's possibly been some kind of diversion or planning to do a diversion or something.
So folks, here we got a um, path going down there. There's a sign for Cross Borders Driveway. Uh, so I'm guessing that goes towards the, possibly goes towards the English border. It may have been the route I took when I did John O'Groats to Land's End, I'm not sure, maybe. So folks, on the approach to the Free Brethren, this is the Free Brethren Hill, and they're at the uh, top of this hill, not far to go now, hopefully I can get some droning, no one's there at the moment, but sod's law, as soon as I get up there, there'll be like a bloody whole group of people up there, of course you could have camped up here last night, but the weather changed and I was just so tired, But uh, would have been a long walk that day if I did get here. Sorry folks, so I managed to get some drawing footage. Um, it was actually um, a Saturday and it wasn't that early but there was just nobody about. Um, I just got there at the right time, there was nobody in sight, I couldn't see anybody so yeah, I thought now's the time to do some footage and yeah I got some really good footage I think. It was a little bit windy so I'm dubbing this little bit here.
Well, here we have the uh, Free Brethren. Uh, I'm not quite sure what they're about and um, why they were put here. Um, but once a year, I believe, um, someone comes up here with a standard. I'm not sure if it's the Scottish standard. I'm guessing it's the Scottish standard, as it is in Scotland, or some other kind of standard. And um, here we've got a list of the people each year that um, carry the standard up here and raise it. So I'm not too sure what it's all about. Um, I guess I should have looked it up really, but I'm sure you can find out on the internet what, um, what it's all about, find some information about it. Um, it's quite impressive these uh, three sort of uh, poles of stones on top of the uh, hill here. Um, yeah, it's a really good view from the top, and here we got a trig point as well. Um, just over here is the um, Southern Upland Way path, which I'll be going down on in a minute and uh, do a bit more draining for you. So I hope you enjoy that. So, so folks, I just stopped for a coffee and now I'm going to be on my way. It's getting hot again. So, um, I'm on my way down there. Then I think there's some ups and stuff and probably more hills. On the way down again. And then it goes up again, I'm sure. Well, folks, over that other side of that hill and a bit of a walk through Another town along the river is Melrose, the end of the stage, the stage. Um, I keep changing my mind whether I stop at the campsite there or not. Here's a bank holiday tomorrow, I'm not sure if it's a bank holiday in Scotland or it's just England. But it's a Saturday still, it's hot, I'm guessing that the uh, campsite's going to be bloody busy with just, you know, they're not exactly relaxing places, are they? Not when it's busy, so... To be honest, I just wonder if we have to carry on after there. Well, I'll see when I get there, because I'm knackered already, so... Yeah. Tell you what, really, you want a serious challenge? Put 30k in your back like me. Do this in over 20 Celsius. When it's been dry, no, hardly any water. That's a bloody challenge, mate. Okay folks, you join me at the standard and at the bottom down there is where I'm walking towards is uh, 
Glen Shields and after that um, I'll be heading towards Melrose where I'll eventually end up staying at a campsite. Another change of cha uh, the route again, going up there. It's come from up there. I don't know why. Just going through Glen Shields, or the outskirts of Glen Shields, the magnificent Glen Shields. Oh, folks, it looks like a chair for sitting down on there. The tree's been cut down there. Look at the view. I don't know if you can see the view. Glen Shields down there, outskirts of it, and then Melrose over there where I'm going. Let's see about this chair. Ah, this one who died. I don't know, it looks quite, no, it doesn't look too old. Okay, folks, well, here we have a memorial. Um, if you'd like to read it, uh, pause it. Um, over down here we have a fantastic view of Glen Shields from this uh, bench and up there is, is where I think I might have camped when I walked John O'Groats to Land's End but to be honest I can't remember if I actually walked the Southern Upland Way on its own after doing that or before that because I've got quite a few memories of the places I've been but I'm not too sure if I've actually been to them if that makes any sense yeah okay Okay folks, looks like going under a big bridge. This is the uh, outskirts of the suburbs in um, on the uh, Southern Upland Way. Not far from Glen Shields and I don't know, probably four kilometres from Melrose. So now leaving the outskirts of Gark. Uh, I can't remember the name of it now. Car Shields. Hi. And I've got going this way. We're now kind of walking along a train line, and there's where all the shit from Gar Shields, or whatever it's called, goes to. All the poo. By the looks of it. Switch. So yeah, when you're on the southern up the way in the section you can see loads of shit. So folks, um, Abbotsford via Borders Abbey Way. Hmm, let's go across the borders. And I've got to go this way. And um, as you can see, I'm heading towards Melrose. I guess that's in miles, they do miles in this country for road signs, but this is a bike sign, but I think it's probably miles, two and a half miles to uh, Melrose. So I checked on the internet, on the phone, and the friendly walkers camp, ca caravan, and motorhome club is full for, um, there's no uh, pictures for tents available. Great. So it means I've got to walk another load of kilometres with all my water, carry some water for cooking, get some food from the co-op. Oh well. Shame. <laughs> 